Welcome back to the Georgia series where I and my friend Kuzak travel to Georgia to explore the country from a not so touristy POV. Because let's face it, the internet has enough of these videos. <laughs> Last time we visited Stalin's roots, our rental car broke down, which we didn't even sign a contract for, but somehow we made it to Kutaisi. Now you're updated to the story, so let's continue. We finally made it to the beautiful city of Kutaisi, the second city of Georgia. And today, the girls are going to explore the caves, and we decided, me and Kuzek, we are we're going gonna to stay in town. We're going to stay in town. We're going to discover the city, the cathedrals, the markets. So we will take you along on this journey and adventure. Kuzek had read about a big flea market in Kutaisi, so we headed there. We first got ourselves a beer since we felt like we deserved one after the five hour drive of yesterday. Hello. 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 Kuzek getting a beer, already thirsty. I mean, the weather is like, it feels like 30 plus. They say it's 23, but whew. Well, we just spent four free lati on two beers, which is like 90 cents or 80 cents for two beers or 40 cents a beer. Well, cheers to that. Next, we found a stand that was gonna transform us from peasant-looking Western men to looking like fly Georgian studs. What did we just buy, Cuba? We just bought brand name with Big Ballers. Man. Big Ballers. Just bought ourselves a Now, we cannot tell you guys and girls what price we paid for the underwear because we can't undermine the flex, so let's just say it cost us 100 euros each. They see we're big spenders, so. We're big spenders. Big spenders are in town. And it seemed to be working because our purchases already started to attract some people. Ajax, Ajax. Ajax. Do svidania. Нет, у нас маленькая камерка. Какой хороший, маленький. Да, да. Смотрите. Это я? Нет, это. А, да, да, здание. Да. <laughs> so our friend keeps popping up yeah, and goes pairs and then he pops up again for like a, for like 20 seconds and he leaves again it's like now enough with the relaxing it was time for us to head into the market itself a lot of herbs and woodwork pots and pans it looks like we found the most proper market in all of georgia I'm a moi telly watching time. And then we even got free food handed as well. Okay. Thank you, Babushka. What loba? We got some for free. I really wanted to pay, but she said no. And at that moment, I cannot disrespect and accept their hospitality and their great friendliness. I also saw a cardboard in Polish. Now since I have roots there, I felt like asking the owner what it's about. After upgrading our outfits, we felt confident enough to go to the cable car which doesn't even cost one dollar for the ride. We're not sure if we can enter the cabin, but... Shall we go? Let's go. So. 
No, yes. there's no operator, so uh, this is going to be fun. Should we close the doors? We don't know. Let's wait another second. Oh, Georgia, strong enough. Nice. Very nice. Georgia, you Spanish? Yes. Apa Turetsky? Kargoy, Kurgistan? Yes. Where is Amsterdam? Amsterdam. Amsterdam? No, Amsterdam. We're nearing the top. Amsterdam, Gulia, Gorodi. Da. Da. We went up expecting a great view, but there was an old amusement park there which still seemed to be semi functioning. Paris Dakar. It's a half abandoned theme park. There are people here, but most of the uh, att attractions are empty. And it looks like they've been empty for a while. The only way for us to have a good view over the city was to enter the Ferris wheel. Everything seemed very rusty, but we felt the need to risk our lives, and so we did it. Ferris wheel. Gamartuba. Uh, Ferris wheel. This gotta be the most illegal Ferris wheel ever. Yeah, it doesn't, like, try to stand up. It doesn't feel particularly safe. Oh, I'm not gonna stand up. In the evening, we were to link up again with the girls to exchange stories of our day over a nice dinner. We wanted to eat somewhere nice and the internet was unanimous about one place. We had to go to Thomas Wine Cellar and so we went. So that's slices of the traditional cheese from cow's milk and the round thing is Georgian version of cotton cheese. We are mixing it with fresh leaves of the meat and putting it on the corn bread and chatty. And traditional snacks, um, uh, this we are calling bukhali and doing it from different types of vegetables. But the main ingredient is walnut sauce or spices. In this case, carrot and aubergine. So we serve the starters over. Now, Thomas Wine Cellar is actually his own home, far away from the city center. So as you're getting out of the cab, it feels like you're going to visit a friend over dinner. His mother is making food upstairs right now. Upstairs. His mom and his family wife. Family tradition. They've been making wine here for over 40 years. Incredible. Yes. Delicious food. Delicious food. And we've got so much left over, but we can't finish it. Yeah, and we got dessert coming. And after, let's hope we catch Toma again and we'll have a little chat. So this is Toma, this is the place to be in, <laughs> Kut so in Kutaisi. Best food in Kutaisi. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys. So far, but we still gotta check dessert. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we will. It's wow. Those are peaches, right? Cake boy, cake boy approves? I do. Kuzek approves, okay. We got the cha-chas. Now, the experience at Thomas is something next level. Before having dinner, he even shows you around where he makes the wine and everything. And I don't think you can even find this in Tbilisi. So we're going to head out. Yes. Very good food. Very good food. Nice drinks. And the dessert. <laughs> Top notch. Top notch. Very good. Girls, any final words about this place? The best. The best. The best. The best. The best. The best. You yes, come to Tasty, you come here, but not on Tuesdays. <laughs> exactly. And what's the place? And, you, and don't eat for like eight hours before because we eat way too late to come here. And behind you All the is leftovers. the leftovers. So. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Shame. Oh, oh. Well, well, well. Here we are back again. Here we are. As I got to talking to Toma, he also told me about how because of the pandemic they had to close down everything and it was very rough. He actually had to go to Germany to make some money again. So I'm very happy that they're opened up again and that he can do his business. He seems to be doing what he loves. This is his passion and I applaud him and I wish him nothing but the best. And uh, off we go. Off we go. And 
all the places are closed at 10, but this place stays open for us. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good rest day since the listen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for let us letting us in for so long. Like. <laughs> bye bye, Toma. After that, we had some drinks at the hostel, but we went to bed early because tomorrow we had a long road ahead of us. A road leading us to the Caucasus Mountains and also leading us to some nice adventures. Lenin was my friend. <laughs> yes. Yes. Not only friend. <laughs> but, but boyfriend. Sexual partner. Your boyfriend. <laughs>